Okay, we're going to look at the probability question of the November 21 paper, paper one, and let's just give it a try. It says A and B are independent events. A and B are independent events. Well, whenever they say that, write this down. The probability of A times the probability of B equals the probability of A and B together. That's just the true thing, and it's going to help you answer the question. Um, are A and B mutually exclusive? Well, you can say right off the bat, they're not mutually exclusive um, because the probability of A and B is not zero. For it to be mutually exclusive, their intersection must be zero. There must be nothing there, nothing where they intersect. So that's why it's not mutually exclusive because the probability is not equal to zero. Okay, now, how do you work this thing out here? Well, I, it's so nice to draw a Venn diagram here. To put A, put B. The probability of A and B is 0.3, so put it in. The probability of B is 0.2, so you can put that in. Well, the first question is, oh, the probability of only B is 0.2, so you can put that in. Okay, now, what can we do to find the probability of only A? Well, this is what I get. I went and tried and figured out the probability of A first. And so what I did, I know the probability of A. I don't know the probability of A, but the probability of B, I'm looking at it. It's 0 0.5, 0 0.3 plus 0.2. It's got to equal 0 0.3. So I just divide both sides by 0 0.5, and I get 3 over 5 is 0 0.6. The probability of A is 0 0.6, which means the probability of only A has to be 0.3 because it's got to add up to 0.6. And I've showed it in this um, diagram kind of nicely, I think. Well, you can see it. There it is. It's got to add up to 0.6. So the probability of A only, therefore, it must be 0.3. You see, 0.3 and 0.3. This is A and B. This is only A. And it adds up to 0.6. So there you go. Now, the next question. What's the probability of not A union or not B? Not A combined with not B. Well, everything outside of A, that's these two things. Everything outside of B, which is these two things. Well, it's just everything except the intersection. Everything outside of A. Well, 0.3 and 0.2 and 0.3. And everything outside of a B is this and this. So if we, it means everything outside except for their intersection. Well, just what do you see everything outside except the, the intersection uh, combined together? I think it's 0 0.3, 0 0.2, and 0 0.2. It must be, oh, everything, yeah, everything not A, that's 0 0.2 and 0 0.4, everything um, or um, everything not B, 0 0.3 and 0 0.2. You don't count the 0 0.2 twice, so it's 0 0.7. And there's your answer. That's how it works.